Hello everyone! Welcome back to our math room. Here is another video in general mathematics, and the topic is all about the introduction to logarithms. What are the learning objectives? At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define logarithm, convert exponential form to logarithmic form and vice versa, and evaluate logarithms. Let's define logarithm. Logarithm is the inverse of exponential. The logarithm of x with base a is denoted by the symbol where a and x are positive real numbers and a is not equal to 1. Since logarithm is the inverse of exponential, if we have y is equal to the logarithm of x with base a, this can be written in exponential form x is equal to a raised to y and vice versa. So why is it the value of a cannot be equal to 1? Recalling exponential, if we have 1 as the base raised to any real number, that will always give a value of 1. So it's no longer exponential. And why is it? It cannot be negative. If we have a negative value, let's say negative 4, raised to the power of 1 half, that gives us the square root of negative 4. And if we're going to simplify that, the answer is 2i, which is no longer real number. It is already imaginary. So we need to exclude 1 and negative numbers. How about for the value of x? x should always be positive real number. Why? Let's say we have a base of 3. Can you think of an exponent of 3 that will give us a result of a negative number? There is none. That is the reason why x should not be negative. Here are the conditions that we have to follow. a and x must be positive real numbers and a is not equal to 1. So if you are planning to get the logarithm of 0 with base a, that value is undefined. Same is true if you are going to get the logarithm of a negative number, it is also undefined. Again, the logarithm of a negative number or 0 is undefined or no solution. There are two types of logarithms. We have the logarithm of x, which is called the common logarithm. Here, the base is 10. If there is no number indicated, automatic that base is equal to 10. And this one, the logarithm of x, is the shortcut way of writing logarithm of x with base 10. How about the ln x? This one is what we call the natural logarithm. Here, the base is e. And this one is the shortcut in writing logarithm of x with base e. Let's have a practice. Convert the logarithmic form to exponential form. Again, if we have this, y equals logarithm of x with base a, all we need to do is to change this to x equals a raised to y. So if we have logarithm of 9 with base 3 is equal to 2, this one is equivalent to 3 squared is equal to 9. Next, logarithm of 4 with base 8 is equal to 2 thirds. This can be written in the form of 8 raised to 2 thirds is equal to 4. Next, if we have logarithm of 1 over 16 with base 2 is equal to negative 4 in exponential form, it is 2 raised to negative 4 is equal to 1 over 16. And last example, if we have logarithm of 27 with base 1 third is equal to negative 3, this is equivalent to 1 third raised to negative 3 is equal to 27. If we're going to look at our examples here, there is actually a pattern that you can follow. The base in the logarithm is the base in exponential. How about its vice versa? Let's convert the exponential form to logarithmic form. Following this rule, x is equal to a raised to y, convert to y equals logarithm of x with base a. So if we have 9 squared is equal to 81, its logarithmic form is Logarithm of 81 with base 9 is equal to 2. 7 raised to negative 2 equals 1 over 49. In logarithmic form, it is logarithm of 1 over 49 with base 7 is equal to negative 2. Third example, 0 0.1 raised to negative 3 equals 1000. This is equivalent to logarithm of 1000 with base 0 0.1 is equal to negative 3. And last, we have 1 fifth raised to negative 4 is equal to 625. This is equal to 
logarithm of 625 with base 1 fifth is equal to negative 4. Converting logarithm to exponential is needed to evaluate logarithmic expressions. Let us have some examples. First, find the value of logarithm of 10. Since we are looking for the value of this logarithmic expression, we need to let x be the value of this. So equate this expression to x. Then, we need to apply to conversion. Write this in exponential form. So we have 10 raised to x is equal to 10. Since the base is not indicated here, automatic that base is equal to 10. That is why we have 10 raised to x. Next, let's identify the exponent of 10 here, and that is equal to 1. Applying the rule in solving exponential equation, when the bases are the same, we can now equate the exponents. Therefore, x is equal to 1. What does it mean? The value of the logarithm of 10 is equal to 1. Let's have another example. Find the value of logarithm of 64 with base 4. Same procedure to be done. Let x be the value. Afterwards, convert to exponential form. We have 4 raised to x is equal to 64. Since we are applying the rule in exponential equation, we need to rewrite 64 having the same base with 4. And that is equal to 4 raised to 3. Once that the bases are the same, ignore them and focus on the exponents. So the value of x is equal to 3. We can now conclude that logarithm of 64 with base 4 is equal to 3. Third example, find the value of logarithm of 4 over 121 with base 11 over 2. So equate this to x. Afterwards, convert to exponential form. So we have 11 over 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 4 over 121. Let's think of a way on how we are going to convert 4 over 121. As you can see, 4 is a power of 2, which is in the denominator of this one. And then 121 is a power of 11. So we need to change the positions of 4 and 121. And to do that, we have to apply the negative rule in the loss of exponents. So this one can be written in the form of 11 over 2 raised to the power of negative 2. Since the bases are the same now, here the value of x is equal to negative 2. So the value of logarithm of 4 over 121 with base 11 over 2 is equal to negative 2. Example number 4. Let's find the value of logarithm of 81 with base 1 third. Same procedure to be done here. We need to equate this to x, then afterwards convert to exponential form, having 1 third raised to x is equal to 81. Since we have different bases, we need to convert both of this to exponential form. 1 third can be written in exponential form following the negative rule in the loss of exponents. So this becomes 3 raised to negative 1 times x, so 3 raised to negative x. On the other side, we have 81. So using 3 as the base, we have 3 raised to 4. So this is now our equation. 3 raised to negative x is equal to 3 raised to 4. Looking at the exponents, x is negative. We need to multiply both sides by negative 1, so x is now equal to negative 4. So the value of the given logarithmic expression log 81 with base 1 third is equal to negative 4. Let's have example number 5. Find the value of logarithm of 1 over square root of 6 with base 6. So same procedure, equate this to x, then change the exponential form, having 6 raised to x is equal to 1 over square root of 6. We need to change this radical to exponential form by having 6 raised to 1 half. And since we need to remove the fraction, applying the negative rule in the loss of exponents, this becomes 6 raised to negative 1 half. Since the bases are now the same, we can now have the value of x, which is negative 1 half. So negative 1 half is the value of logarithm of 1 over square root of 6 with base 6. Six example. Let's find the value of logarithm of 8 with base 0 
So again, let x be the value of this expression. Convert to exponential form. 0 0.5 raised to x is equal to 8. Since we have here a decimal, let's change this to fraction. So since we have 0.5, it means it is equal to 1 half. So we have 1 half raised to x is equal to 2 raised to 3, which is the exponential form of 8. Next step is to follow the base of 2. So we have to change the 1 half to exponential form, having the base of 2, applying the concept of the negative rule. So 1 half raised to x is now 2 raised to negative x is equal to 2 raised to 3. Ignore the bases and equate the exponents. Since we have negative x here, we need to multiply both sides by negative 1, so the value of x is equal to negative 3. So the given logarithm of 8 with base 0 0.5, its value is negative 3. After showing you how to convert logarithmic form to exponential form and vice versa, let us now check your understanding. You may pause the video to answer the following items. Let us now check your work. Item number one, the answer here is logarithm of 243 with base 3 is equal to 5. Number two, logarithm of 4 over 9 with base 2 thirds is equal to 2. Item number three, this cannot be written in logarithmic form since the base is negative. How about item B? Number one, we have the exponential form, the square root of 5 raised to 4 is equal to 25. Next, we have 10 raised to negative 3 is equal to 0 0.001. And number 3, e raised to x is equal to 2. Did you get all of this? Try another one. Evaluate each logarithmic expression. You may pause the video to answer this. Let's check your work. The first one, the value is 4. The second, its value is negative 3. And the third, the value is negative 2. What are the important things that you need to take note in this lesson? Logarithm is an inverse of exponential and is denoted by logarithm of x with base a, where a and x are positive real numbers such that a is not equal to 1. Next is, to convert logarithmic form to exponential form and vice versa, take note y is equal to logarithm of x with base a can be converted to x is equal to a raised to y and vice versa. Lastly, to evaluate logarithm, we need to equate the logarithmic expression to x. Next is to convert to exponential form and solve for the value of x. Here is the end of our discussion about the introduction to logarithms. I hope you have learned a lot in this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and share this to others. Bye everyone! See you in our next video!